we're still here flipping coins about what's to come it starts getting cold and we don't know Welcome to my regular morning hair and pajamas. Uh, basically, that's what happens when you complain about the mud. You get snow on top of the mud. Oh man, it felt like walking in chocolate pudding. <laughs> that's what that felt like. All right, so just for reference, I wanted to record all this stuff that I want to remember. So we gave Stella Hero for her metabolic issues and nothing changed. We gave her, um, Equescence, and within two days, she stopped eating every, like, every morning I come in, she has a ton of hay left. Is that crazy or is that crazy? I mean, it's not a ton, but she has hay left. Before, she would lick the floor clean. That stuff is really working for her. Like, I can't believe that. I'm so glad we got it for her. Like, she leaves hay. She leaves hay, you guys. Like, that's not our Stella. It doesn't. No. But she also left a lot of poo. That is a lot of poo. <laughs> Easy to yeah. Some people were upset that I said, Stella, we're never going to ride Willow. And yeah, we are never going to ride Willow. But um, I, and I wasn't anticipating that the grandkids would want to ride Willow. But then they were like, I want to ride her. And I was so shocked. You guys should also know that I was holding them up really strong so that their bums were not sitting full weight on top of Stella. And that's why she got me to video. Willow. Yeah, and yeah, I totally forgot to put helmets on them. Even if just, I mean, I, I had total control of those kids, but even just for the fact that I want them to like learn that they can never be around horses or on horses like that without a helmet. Yeah, I totally spaced on that one. Gabby, why don't you remind me that they should have had helmets on? Because they're just riding well. Guys, I had an elf foot. Yeah, why are so. Why you doing that? Snowed. Man. All started to go wrong But the sea is way too deep Yeah, it's deeper than we could ever go Honey, we have to be together Here in the stormy weather So why do we hold on? Even if it hurts so It's breaking us It's so weird because Stella is so kind. At first, she thought that Finn was a threat to her Willow and she protected Willow, but now that she knows them, she is like Switzerland. She never takes a side. She is so caring and careful with Finn and then she's good with Willow too. Like she never chooses one or the other. She just loves them both. Isn't that kind of her? Signs told us how we could reach the other side And you start to doubt I don't blame you cause I feel the same Cause I'm not gonna hold on for so long Let me out! I can get out Let me together Some kind of make uh, gourmet bars or breakfast bar, or snack party or something like that. But anyways, while they're out, we got a special surprise for them, and I'm taking you with me. First stop, Lowe's. 
I don't even know if they have what I'm looking for here because I hardly check out this store. But I'm, I think they do, so I'm going to hopefully get it. It's almost like we were always here. Can't seem to. Lowe's didn't have what I'm looking for. Next stop, Home Depot. This is more my store, Home Depot. I don't know what's going on, but found what I'm looking for. These steel posts. Can you guess what I'm making? There is my post. It really didn't measure, but I'm just gonna buy enough to put there anyways. Third store. Okay, so if now you can't guess what I'm doing, then here is a clip of what I'm doing. I'm outside and welcome to the future paddock of Storm and Finn. So, I got a lot of work to do. I gotta cut up all these trees and move it. Basically, I'm gonna make a fence from probably here, from right here to the fence post, all the way down to the fence post, all the way back up here and then maybe come out a bit more here and have a gate right here have a gate so i'm gonna need to get moving and i got pretty much a month to get moving here so yeah that's that's what i'm gonna do and uh, there's a lot of cleanup to do here before i can get those horses in anyways that's my plan I don't know how that's going to go because it's a lot of brush over there. I didn't realize in the corner there's a whole big pile of stuff there. Extra rope. Another grounding rod. A couple of these. I'm going to need another energizer. Another energizer. What I'm really looking for is a post pounder right now because I need that. Or else I can't get those things in the ground. Yep, if you guessed it, we are in the process of bringing Storm home and actually tomorrow, April Fool's Day, was the day that Storm came to us last year in, um, and it was during Easter. So, my plan this year is to have Storm home at our farm by Easter this year, which gives me less than a month. So... That's what I'll be working on, trying to get Storm home. Hopefully if the weather is good, the outdoor arena will be done by the end of the month as well. Um, so we can start doing lessons. Um, if it's not and the weather is terrible, then we're going to try and focus on the indoor one. But it's a lot easier for us to move the sand and gravel and things we need. All the footing and stuff um, to our outdoor arena instead of our indoor because the indoor arena is far back on the property. That's our plan. The girls and I went to a party this afternoon and it was a granola bar making party. I'm going to show you guys. Sophie wants to eat her, so I'm going to show it to you. But we got this little pampered chef granola bar making thing and it comes with this cover. And basically, let's see if I can pop one out. Basically, it's all cooked. Oh my gosh, a lot of honey. Good. They did a lot of honey on theirs. But yeah, look at that. It looks so good. Mom almost made so, Gabby and Sophie both got a tray. Oh no, we didn't get our spatulas. I got one. Oh, okay. And we only get one. Yeah. Um, and so. Like it's right in there. Yeah, aren't they cute? Yeah. Do you want one? Tim's like, yeah, let me try it. Isn't that so crazy? We were driving to the party and there was so much snow. Now we're driving home like a couple hours later and there's no snow. All right, we are at the barn for Stormy Boy and Tex. The girls are gonna have a little ride. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Is this your new- We do not use polo wraps. Anymore, you're done with them? Well, so, we use vet wrap. Yeah, because, because we don't- it's so much easier. All you have to do is tie it up. Yeah. Like, and then yeah. You're not too These tight. Are way but, too small. Yeah, so and those are hard. To... We need to bring some oh, new ones. I. I did it properly, but I did not do the second one. Oh my god. There's mud on his cut. Caked in mud. Oh. You cannot see his cut. You gotta clean it. 
He's laying down. Good thing he has a blanket on. Okay, so weird thing about the saddle Ooh. that I've been noticing. I've been noticing about the saddle. Uh, He's taking so, a longer step, which is good. He is taking a longer step, but also, I really noticed how it sits on him. I don't Do know not if you touch can see. it because then you'll move it. Okay, so this is what I noticed. I'll show you when she's riding, but it literally opens up and sits on him exactly. Like, even the back. I don't know how to explain it. It just sits on him so well. It's almost like we were always here. Talking. You guys are walking and talking. That's what friendship is all about. Yeah, that is a zip up of confidence. We should be proud. All that we can do is hope for miracles or just let it go. But honey, we have to be together here in the storm. I drive to the barn all by myself with Gabby and I hear the sleet coming down outside. Whoa. Thunder, was that thunder? Oh my God. What was it? Yeah. He just bolted. They bolted. They galloped. The one thing you never thought you would see is Tex bolting. change so storm does a thing where he kicks up his back legs to get the back lead and let me tell you it's pretty fierce are you doing it again Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.